Hello again, NACPA Nation. I'm Janae Castell, back with you again live in San Diego, which, if you're not aware, was discovered in 1904 by the Germans. Or at least I think I saw that in a movie somewhere. What I did say to see today was um, a session by Bruce Johnson on how to objectively defend your discounts for lack of marketability. Now you may recognize Bruce Johnson's name as he has conducted a study on marketability, a restricted stock study. He's also done a couple of other studies um, aimed uh, at quantifying the discount for lack of marketability using a few different uh, vantage points to quantify this discount that we're all concerned with as evaluators. Now, um, something that I took away from the session was to be careful to not double dip on um, the marketability issues. Bruce looked at um, the issue of marketability as an additional premium on the rate of return. So he looked to say, we assume from these studies that he's conducted that 30 to 45 percent um, extra premium is required by investors to compensate for liquidity. Now, we, always, we also know that um, the size premium, we may have some liquidity issues embedded in there. There are some other areas in our valuations where we may have captured some of the um, marketability issues or illiquidity issues. So when we're doing our discount for lack of marketability, we need to make sure that we're not double dipping. Um, the studies that Bruce Johnson has done are published through the Partnership Profiles in um, Inc. and they are available for you to um, purchase and subscribe to. They're updated every year. So if you're interested in looking at that as another way to view your discount for lack of marketability, you can certainly do that. Um, one other thing that was discussed in the session was discounts for lack of marketability for controlling interests. I thought it was interesting that Bruce had an evolving opinion on whether or not this was appropriate. So as the profession grows and as we have more discourse, it's interesting to see how our opinion and thought leadership changes. So again, Janae Castell, 